Welcome everyone to Tier No, the Last of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mark Oliver, in which we are playing as Meng Xiang in a war against the Mongolian People's Front. Now we have seven divisions here, and actually we start off with a few infantry divisions, but they're pretty inexperienced already, so I converted them all to our cavalry divisions, in which, yeah, these guys aren't super great, but we'll see how far we can get with our nation led by Damchug Dongrub, who I decided to convert the cavalry to because we get 5% more attack, but let's begin with the focus with saving the country. This great land, sacred home to the great Mongolian peoples, has for generations been divided and weak. A people who were once led by great Khans riding over the whole earth and making fools of the Chinese had become wretched vassals. Now we are once more united and free but for the treasonous men who we must now face. Let the pure sky and steep not be polluted by these criminals to arms. And I'll let you know, we are using, uh, for Tiano, obviously Tiano mob, Play the peace conferences, which doesn't mean anything, and stage central tool mod, but we are on patch after midnight. If I remember, that's what it's called. This is my first campaign playing with after midnight, if that's the correct name. And we're led by Ma Zhang Ying, who, unfortunately, is an old guard. But he does get slightly more entrenchment, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Cool, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to go in here and try to encircle the, this division to get to the capital. Uh, we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. Hopefully we can do well. I'm not really sure. I think these guys do have, like, air cavalry, or, like, you know, helicopters. Hopefully we can do quite well, but, of course, time we'll have to wait and see. So, men.500.t. Do we get 500 guys or something? Oh, hello, Japan, yes. Oh, please, Japan. Oh, actually, I didn't, I didn't see yet. Also, where's the, where's the music? Well, this might be a little glitch here for the uh, mod, maybe. Oh, I can hear a little bit. Okay, that's weird. It's just very soft all of a sudden for some reason. Are you guys moving in? Oh, they are. That is not good. Well, I hope that we can at least... Oh, boy. That's not good. Get the capital, perhaps. That'd be kind of nice, because we don't have a lot of divisions here. And do not let them move in. If anything, um, I wanted to destroy their divisions. Because those guys are there right now, I think it's probably best and safe to just go ahead and move on in here and try to take these guys out, if we possibly can. <sighs> Crap. It's not good. Um, are these guys all moving in? That's fine. I'm going to have you guys go there then. Let me get up here. Oh, they're just moving around. They have so many divisions, man. Well, hopefully the Japanese division show up sometime soon. Uh, I need you guys to get over here immediately and go up there, please. That'd be very good, please. Oh, the Un Ulan Bata Rebellion. The history of the Mongol steep has been one of constant conflict and it provides to its people one simple lesson. Divide, we are weak. United, we are strong. From the earliest days of the Yongnu Confederation to the Great Mongol Empire of 20... 1206. When the Mongolian clans are united, they are unstoppable, but, but time and again we fall apart into petty infighting and deliver ourselves as slaves to the Chinese. In the Great War, aided by the great Japanese Empire, Prince Deng Chub Dongrub set out to unite his beloved people once again in the footsteps of the Modun Shanyu and the Chinggis Khan. He united his people under the name for the first time in centuries, earning his place in the great line of Mongol rulers, but not all of yet have submitted. Our fair Mongolia greets this day a divided and bleeding people. In the previous weeks, a treasonous co coalition of bandits and communists swept through the Mongolian steeps, catching their own armed forces off guard and once more dividing our people. With a combination of luck and trickery, these vagrants have taken the momentum, even capturing the capital of Ugra, known to, to the Reds as Ulan Batar. The shall not stand. The Mongol will never fight against his brother while being stabbed in the back by a Chinese dagger. Already, your great prince Demchog Dongrub has called on every true Mongol to defend their nation and sovereign with the zeal of a thousand warriors. We will overcome these bandits and deliver Ugra from their grasp, and the fool shall know the price of treason. Rally to the prince, crush the rabble. We need their capital badly, 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 badly. Now, please keep moving more quickly. Come on, you gotta move faster than that. Uh, you've shown up. That's good. It's good to show up to, you know, where we have to go. Keep these guys in place. I'm gonna do my best to try to circle everyone we possibly can to the best of our abilities, but obviously we have to wait and see. Please, come on, keep moving. I know it's a river. I know it sucks over there. Oh, keep them in place. Keep them in place. Go over there. There, there. If we can circle another division, perhaps. You guys keep going. Oh, he actually might be able to get to the capital. That might be enough to capitulate them, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of really do. Oh, the tanks have arrived. Yes. Oh, thank God for the Japanese. Thank goodness. Uh, that's a case. You might want to hold first. Defeat those divisions over there. Oh, they got us here too. Look at that. If these guys can win, then we can come in here too. 
But, oh. Oh, we have another focus. By the prince's orders. Prince Demchug Dongrub was born into a servile and divided Mongolia, home to an atomized and nearly forgotten people. But by his hand, and in the way of the great Khan, from who he is descended, the prince struck out against all of his people's enemies. It is such a great man who the people are commanded by, and who they should love and fear in equal measure. For, by his orders, we ride. Good, you got rid of them. Now put them down in their place. Good, keep going, keep going, come on. Ah, the first one, come on, let's go, 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 let's go. And as we also have, uh, I already boosted up the civilian spending as well as military spending, but request Japanese support. A saddening number of Mongols have been led astray by the lies of bandits and into rebellion, even capturing our capital city. The prince has seen dark days before, and just as he once rode the, beside the Japanese to unite the people, he may now request the old friendship to be called upon again to recruit the people. Who would not ask for a friend's aid in the times of need? Who would? Shpeh is a successor. If that's the case, um, we're all attacking them to stop them from moving. So really, everything's riding on this right here, right now. Are you losing? How are you losing? They literally have, should have like, no supply right here. Uh, that's okay, though. Let's see. Ooh, we go up here. We can cut these guys off next as well. You guys literally cannot afford to lose. Japanese things, please do something. Please, for the love of God, do something. Please move. Please do something. Please attack. Come on. Come on, guys. I don't want to force attack here. But my goodness, if I have to, we will. Oh, you know, command power. Let's go and get some new guy. Ma team Mai? Yes, force it. Uh, despotism, intensified Japanese bombings, relentless attacks. Oh, that's nice. We will not, and frankly, cannot allow this rebellion to continue. It must be crushed totally and swiftly. Our loyal men must charge and charge again into the enemy and chase them away before the damage done to Mongolia gets any worse. The harsher the war, the better the peace is a time-honored fact. So let us go forth and conquer. Now this should finally be able to take these guys out, hopefully. Okay, never mind. Well, we killed off one division so far, which is not terrible. Oh, we actually won here. Look at that. Let our guys rest a little bit. Get some more organization. That is totally fine and fair. Oh, thank goodness the tanks are doing so for us. All right. Japan sends aid. Our pleas to the Japanese Emperor have not gone unheard, and today our prince has received word that Japan will aid us with air support along with officers to train and equip our troops for battle. The twin fists of Japanese aerial bombardment and the famous fighting spirit of the Imperial Army will doubtlessly give our men the upper hand in battle. Great. We actually get some planes, but, um, yeah, we don't have any air bases except for that one all the way over there in that region. All right. You guys are seriously lost. You guys are pathetic, man. Come on. Well, actually, let's make sure we do this first. All right, so do that. Force them to die. Okay, we won! Meng Jiang victorious! Prince De of Meng Jiang has sent the Emperor his personal thanks for our aid in the recent disturbance, and assures us that the order has been restored to the Mongolian steeps. It appears, or seems, that despite the bandits' early game, they do not have the discipline or momentum to overcome the prince, and the remains of the rebellion is being rounded up as we speak. Those Japanese which have fled Meng Jiang are already starting to return, and the Japanese business has begun to develop the nation once again as the last of the traitors and thieves are running out of Meng Jiang and into the Russian wilderness, as it should be. Our expenses from intervening in the Mongolian conflict will be cleared. Oh, we become a puppet of the Republic of China. The Prince triumphs. Today we have victory. The rebellion is at an end, and Mongolia is saved. Final mop-up operations are ongoing, and all extra Japanese aid withdrawing as order research itself. Though in a land such as Mongolia, the fighting never truly stops. It remains clear that peace has returned at last. The sky is no longer th thunder with the found son of sound of bombs. The ground no longer shakes under the stamping of hooves. The prince breathes easy and freely once more, and the Mongol people ride with him, all as it should be. Cool. So that's is that it? That might actually be it. But let's let's do as much as we can for the focus tree, just because there's really not much here, and this is hopefully probably just a one-off video, because I don't think we are a Russian unifier, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. And actually, it's surprising that the Japanese did so well for us. Like usually, um, the, the AI is useless. So you uh, without usually you know you can't rely on them, but. Let's talk about that after we do Nomadic Legacy. From the earliest days of childhood, every Mongol knows a horse, and in his song and dance, the horse remains. It was on horseback that the Mongol race made a name for itself, and it is this unique and unsurpassed tradition of horsemanship which must be marshaled in times of war. No one in the world can match your cavalry, or cavalry, not even our misguided foes. But, yeah, like, like, seriously, like, even if the Japanese didn't help out, I'm sure we could, still could have won. Like, we would have destroyed that division and then sent these guys just roaming all over their territory and probably taken out their capital, but, hey, you know what? We have Kuri... And I think that's pretty great. 
uh, for the final victory? Why not? This is it, the final push. Our battles and skirmishes so far have not yielded any decisive victory, and the broken state of the Mongol people persists against all that is right in the people's own will. This ends now, as our forces and all the people of Mongolia must come together and destroy these devils who brought such suffering upon these lands. This time, there will be no turning back. Our rightful domain. Prince Demchuk Dongra, in his great wisdom, has from the start envisioned a better, stronger, united Mongolia. For this grand goal he has fought for decades, and the Mongol people stood by the side as of shared loyalty and just force. The lone exception and last remaining estranged Mongols are living those are those living under the communist threads. In the west of Mongolia, they lay in defiance of the rightful ruler and spread their filth. Even in our most recent battle, our enemies were led by communist general. Now that we have finally united in truth faith, we can at last liberate the remaining Mongolians of the People's Revolutionary Council and complete the unification of our people. Oh, we actually go to war with the PRC. Look at that. Nice. All right, so we're not done yet. Not quite done yet. And actually, I really don't mind having two sets of generals here then. Um, Beg Japan. At war. Uh, I could read this one. How did it come to this? We lost. The eyes of heaven have turned away from us and cast us away. There's only one more option left to save the state. We must go to Japan. Um, we have to complete a lot more focuses. But we have to be really close to surrendering. But we're pretty good right now. After this one, let's go ahead and do destroy resistance agents. The people are being led astray by the insidious agents of the rebellion. Like a plague rat, wherever they are found, soon after the sickness of discontent rears its head. They must be destroyed as a hobbinches of pain and deceit they are, and the nation return to a state of harmony, lest we fall back into anarchy once again. Empire of the Sun seems pretty good. Um... There we go, this got something. It seems very weird that it's glitching up or something. Destroy the resistance agents. Do we actually have resistance? No, I don't think we did. Ah, oh, rifle domain. Actually, how strong are these guys? Velosivsky. Five? But I do have. Ooh, five to seven divisions. They have less than a thousand manpower, but. This should have happened a long time ago. If we can encircle them, that would be a tremendous thing. Especially for that single division. Now, are they attacking us? No. That'll be our goal, though. Don't worry about that. Just go in there. Go there, there, there. They may have tanks. They may have armored vehicles. And we may have no commander. But we will keep fighting on. Hopefully do well. Ho I hope the Japanese want to help us out. Uh, Ming? Mingzu Jiangying. Jiangying. Are you guys related? They might be. There we go. Oh, we don't have enough command power. God dang it. Come on, guys. Uh oh, oh boy, helicopter boys. New auxiliary forces, look at that. Our friends in the Imperial Japanese Army have released the first batch of Mongol trainees for service. Though they come back to us fewer in numbers, they are far greater in fighting spirit, clearly not the same men as they were before. They boast of harsh trials they endured and spare not even a thought for those who prove themselves weak. Standing at attention, disciplined to the last button on their uniform, the Japanese have taken saw clay and fired it into the sword of the Emperor. And the Prince, Banzai. Do we have enough guns? Oh, yes, we do. We gotta make these guys thicker, because 10 combat width is not enough. And we don't have enough anti-tank. Oh, uh, we actually might have enough for now. Can we actually make these guys 40 combat width, maybe? Or 40. I love 40 combat width, but 20 combat width. Ooh, yes. Okay, so that's actually really good then. Go in, boys. Go, 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 go. Alte. I love Alte. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. They found us. Go to Moron. Go to Moron. Hold the line, son. Hold the line. Hold your butter. I'm not sure why I said butter, but whatever. What are you guys doing here? You're doing nothing. Come on. You guys are supposed to be actually relatively okay divisions. Uh, Warlord support would actually be pretty nice. Um, traders do. Well, I mean, I guess... Do you read this one? Perhaps the most important weapon in the Japanese arsenal is the Air Force. Flying in uncontested skies with clear targets and few restrictions, the Japanese pilots will surely shine as they've rarely been able to before. Their bombs and their guns with the, uh, their guns, the treasons shall flee in fear. By their bombs and guns, the treasons shall flee their fear. The fear and fear. Death from above. The Japanese bombing campaign has just been as successful as we'd hoped. While large formations do not often appear in the steep warfare, the supply trains and treasons camps in which they live have, have had no peace. We're already doubling the effort and supplies of the bombing campaign. The traders will be blasted from, from his earth by the prince of the steeps. On the steeps. On banners and in schools, on newspapers and uniforms, and even in yurts, the face and symbols of Prince Demchuk Dongrup are found. Not one day will the Mongol unreminded of the prince and all he has done for the nation. It is under his banner that every Mongol of the steppe steeps, lives, works, fights, and dies. Work is, huh? He is a prince, and we are the, at last united under him. We shall not forget it. This is so weird. Why is it not working? There we go. 
I guess the Hoi 4 pack is just not doing well right now. Um, if that's the case, I want you guys to go here, because we cannot afford to get surrounded. So, can a bunch of horsemen destroy helicopters? That'd be so cool. Ooh, we got that. But we're going to go here, actually, and go here. Because then you will go right here. Come on, boys. You got to get them. You got to get them. Wait, what are the... I want to call. Japan, can I have help? Please? Please, Japan. The faster we can destroy this division, the faster we can move out and do other things. Yes, they've been cut off. Yes, good, good, good. Guys, 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 you can't let them, can't let them move. Like, you seriously just cannot let them move. Crap, that's not good. We got him. We got him. Get the capital. Get the capital. Get to Alte. Nice. Go, horsey boys. Go. That's good. And I guess I can read Slash and Burn. The price of treason is death. The price of harboring and aiding such criminals is death. The price of impeding those who seek to deliver justice to the betrayer is death. Wow. Entire families and even towns have become more complicit in the betrayal of the prince and the Mongol people. And for such a crime, they cannot be allowed to live. The enemy behind is just as, enemy, as deadly as those ahead, and shall be destroyed just as swiftly and destabilize the Ulan Bata rebels. While the rebellion captured much territory and people, this does not mean the occupied land is secure. The hearts and the, of the loyal remain true even behind enemy lines and the enemy caravans are guarded only by the lightest of arms. By raiding the enemy and empowering those still true to us, the dude enemy will falter. Cool. I guess that's it for the poker street because there's really not much left then. Seriously, no, you guys, you gotta help engage in their tactics. You gotta take their supplies. You gotta tell them to go home. We don't want you here right now. Alright, at this point, you, you gotta force the attack. We're not gonna lose here. We can, we literally can't afford to lose, so. Oh, oh. oh, we actually have. We're actually. By spending more, we actually have construction. Oh, nice. That, we've confirmed it. Oh, cavalry is literally superior to, to, to uh, helicopters. This video confirms it. <laughs> oh, we need way more anti- We got him. Wait, 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 that's all we got? What? Son, is that it? Man, oh, we got jipped. Well, I mean, Mongol is looking pretty nice and thick, I'd say. I think you'd probably agree, right? We love being thick. What are we constructing here? Nothing. <laughs> We're building absolutely nothing. Oh, our manpower is so low. But I, I guess that's going to probably be it. Um... There's really not much else here. Obviously, Ming Zhang is not, um, you know, known as a superpower or regional unifier. Even though, hopefully, someday they will be. But that's going to be a long, long time away. So, I just wanted to do this little video just because I don't know anyone else who has done Meng Zhang. And at the time of this recording, I need a few extra days to plan everything else out. So that I can hit the after up. After midnight, after update, the, the latest update for TNL, whatever it is. But regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.